Hey, love bugs, it's rising. Let's get you one more can. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for being a part of my journey as I'm a part of yours. You're just resonating, and you know, we're ascending towards bigger and better things. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings and love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. Even if it's, you know, I'm trying to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is a good vibe, a good information, you'd love to share with a loved one, family, or friend. Or even a fellow empath that is going through some really trying times right now um, that needs confirmation and validation towards their life path or, you know, soul purpose or even their, you know, just regular purpose on why they're here. Please go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my um, meditation is manifest your heart desires. Manifest anything you want. Laws of attraction ex accelerator. And I will post that link in the description box below. And let me see which one. I've got so much good content um, just to do for today. It's crazy. Uh, let me see. Oh, yes, even though, uh, hey, Twin Flame 101, uh, hey, Okas, even though so many things have been taken out of your life, look at all the things that, that was placed in it. We need to do that because it's just like, you know, starting my journey, going through really crazy situations, going through so many spiritual awakenings, ascensions, dark night of the soul, uh, you know, just everything, kundalinis, and it's just like, you know, as long as you, there are so many things, it just depends on how many times you have to go through these rotating cycles or these psychic attacks. Um, just learning more and more about yourself. It's just like an onion and you're steady just peeling stuff back. You know, and it's just like one of the red onions. And the red onions are the most strongest onions I've ever dealt with. I love the smell of onions. But those things will make your eyes water like crazy. So it's just like with our lives, we're going through so many different things. And it's just like... You know, we really went through some trauma. And it's like, like I told y'all before, you know, um, we have been carrying around all our past hurt, all our past pain, our past trauma that, you know, we don't have for many, many millenniums. And for us to be having to, you know, break that cycle, break that karmatic, karmic curse or current karmic circle. Cycles. That's why I'm gonna say Jesus don't got tongue tied. Karmic cycles. You know, it's gonna be hard on us because it's like directions coming left and right, left and right, left and right. And it's like when I was going through that, you know, I constantly thought about, you know, my, my grandparents. I never got a chance to meet them. My big brother died. I never had a chance to meet him. My father died. You know, my mom passed away. It's just so many different things that really broke my heart in so many different ways and it was just like so much at one time and it's like I had to really step back you know there's a lot of things that you know I had to heal myself from there's a lot of things that I had to really look at it without putting that emotion in and it's hard to do that at times because you try to understand why were you placed in a certain situation that you were you know it's like dad what the heck did I do in my past life <laughs> did I sit up here and steal somebody's husband? Did, did I, you know, sleep with somebody's daddy? What, what did I do to deserve all this stuff I went through? And it's just like, you know, I see myself signing that soul contract saying, you know, give me the worst, hardest situation and I'm going to get my way out of it. I knew so much back then before I had to go through this life. So it's just like going through these things and seeing every day of uh, basically 
the hair of my mom, sorry y'all. Um, you know, just looking at my situation, there's times like I cry. I tell y'all every day, every, every day, I, you know, whenever I make a video, you know, some people say, Rosalind, how are you so positive during my, during your videos? How can you still be uplifting going through so much stuff? And it's just like sometimes you have to see the sacrifice within a blessing. You have to do that sometimes. You got to see the sacrifice within a blessing. I ain't talking about no Illuminati stuff or whatever, but it's like traumatizing things that you have been that has been placed in your life can be able to tear you up from sun up, sun down, whatever. It's like it threw you in garbage disposal and you were just metal or something like that, tearing up the garbage disposal and you come out all being broken and all jacked up and stuff, doing a crip walk or whatever. But it's like you go through these situations and it's just like, you know, we can go through really traumatizing stuff like y'all have shared, open and shared with me. And I know that took a lot for you to do that, especially when you're doing it on the channel, because you're opening your life up for many people to see, you know, and it's just like I tell y'all, I don't pass any judgment on nobody. I'm not God. I can't judge nobody because nobody got a clean pass. It's like you can't outdo somebody else or whatever, because we all have our level of perception on dealing with a lot of trauma. So it's just like. Yes, you might have been abused. Yes, you might have been neglected. You might have been abandoned. Those are the most worst things you can possibly do to a person. And it's just and with you being an empath, you deal with crazy energies all day, every day, you know, and it, it, you're always trying to go out there and save the world besides all the personal stuff you're going through. You know, sometimes situations like this can make you bitter, make you want to close off from, you know, people and not let them get close. I was like that. I don't, you know, I was just like, I, you know. Through this journey especially doing my youtube had people praying against me you know people just deliberately trying to hurt me on purpose you know either make fun of me laughed at me you know doubted me all these different things and it had to get to that point where you know what stop looking at all the bad things that happen and look at all the things that you know this positive is entering your life you you found out all these things about yourself that you never had no clue about you know, there was something different about you. I was always by myself, you know, with, you know, I had a adopted brother, had a adopted sister, you know, when my mom's husband got married to his wife, I had, you know, a stepsister and a stepbrother, you know, so I was the baby. Now when you deal with everything, you know, I was always alone all the time. I was, you know, always dealing with things on my own, you know, as a child. And it was just like all the things I can see myself is in now. You know, I'm looking at things, I'm, you know, sending out different messages, you know, having visions about things. I, I mean, I, I really feel humbled and blessed for all the things I'm going through. Yeah, I still go through daily struggles. <laughs> I still got that monkey on my back. You know, there are certain things that I've been able to let go of. And there's things I'm still healing from. I still got Achilles heel. We all have insecurities. We all have that one thing is so hard to let go of. But you're trying your best to try to eliminate the pain that that situation has caused you you know and it's just like it's so easy for somebody to tell you to let it go when you never experienced something like that you know that's why i tell people you know just give yourself time you know i'll never say let it go you know i don't do that because you don't know what that you know that certain situation has done to that person certain situations especially the things y'all shared to me it can mess you up in so many t different ways sexually emotionally mentally spiritually all break you down and like to the point where you don't even want to be involved with people it can have you looking at the world in a bitter way you know even though all the hurt and pain you had it could have had you looking at life and being bitter about it i've seen people like that i said stop walking around looking like what you went through they're looking at me like what are you talking about okay if i sit up here and we had a long talk and i tell you about everything i went through i joke and laugh i had to use i used to have to tell my you know people i work with co-workers if i sit down and tell you my life story and you always see me acting a fool being funny singing doing all this and that you would never imagine the things i went through growing up things i experienced because i didn't allow what my past did to constantly affect me each and every day and some of these people walking around with their heart on their sleeve mad at the daggone world because all the stuff they've been through yeah you have a right to be mad but this is giving you that opportunity and that time to heal on so many different levels, on, on so many different layers. You know, yeah, things suck. World sucks. Why we have cruel people? Heck, I don't know. I guess we just need to balance through everything. But it's like the situation you have been through, we have to learn how to not cope.
but deal with it. You know, face it. You know, and it's hard to face stuff like that, especially if you done suppressed it for so many years. You know, with mine, it's like I suppressed a lot of stuff, but you know, I'll you know having to go to a therapist. You know, I he hypnotized me to the point where I couldn't remember a lot of things. And for that to have to go through my spiritual awakening and all of a sudden all these things popped up coming back in my memory, because it's crazy, you know, because I know there are some of y'all are just now starting to subscribe to my channel. And it's a scary situation to where, you know, we had this veil over our eyes for so long on so much pain, so much hurt, anger, you know, whatever, abuse, whatever you had to deal with. But when I went through my situation, I had to go to a therapist because growing up I had night terrors like really bad like you would hear me screaming calling my dad and you know my adopted father would come in there and I would snatch away from him and I said I'm not calling you he's like yeah you calling me no I'm not <laughs> you know I used to get mad you know and didn't know understand why I was you know ready to box him you know and it was like that inner child within me but knowing you know they had to wipe all that out of me and all of a sudden it came back and way the craziest thing how it came back I had to go you know I was with a co-worker and she, we both love, you know, horror movies. And all of a sudden, she was like, hey, let's go see Get Out. Anybody seen that movie by Jordan Peele? Get Out. About them crazy folks, you know, taking black folks and, you know, making them sex slaves or whatever they want to do. You know, and being able to know when that, that woman starts staring at that coffee cup. I, every time I start hearing somebody, I'm like, hey, we can talk later because you, you sit up here staring at coffee. I don't, I, don't, I don't do with that. You know, because it took her to do that, and all of a sudden, all my memories came fluttering back. I almost had a panic attack in the, in the movie theater. So, going through all that, that was tragic. I was already going through enough stuff, but then have to have all my memories come fluttering back at once, because that's always wonder why I didn't like being hypnotized and didn't realize what that situation is did to me. You know, having me hypnotized like that. So, being able to do these videos is a blessing. You know, there's days where I cry. I tell y'all that all the time. There's days I don't want to get out of the bed. There's days I don't want to do videos. There's days that when people want to hit me up, come on, Rouse, and I need your help. And I have to shut my phone off. I don't like doing that, but it's like I have to take care of myself. If I don't take care of myself, nobody will. You know, nobody's going to do you. Nobody's going to love you like you love you. Nobody's going to take care of you like you won't take care of yourself. You have to take time for that self-care. You have to take time out for your mental health to make sure you ain't cuckoo is, you know, cuckoo clock. You know what I'm saying? Because the things you can go through can really do some damage to you. So you have to see, know that the situation you're in, it brought you to here. It's let you know so many things about yourself you were not aware of. You know, it, you had to go through all those motions for you to be able to experience that shock value of what spiritual... Uh, attachments you had towards yourself how you're you know gift giftly get gift inclined that's why I would put it gift inclined you know you're you're experiencing all these things and that's enough to have to settle like I'm a what I'm a hayoka what <laughs> you know like what the hell is a hayoka you know and you're finding out all these different things about yourself and yeah it can be exciting but it can be scary and yet confusing so it's just like yes you've been through a lot of things but we cannot go around carrying this pain for so so long it's not supposed to have done that we don't wear that like you know pearls or you know wear it like jewelry or wear our trauma like you know a jacket we need to go ahead and seal it in and put it in a little box ship it off you know because it's like we're not supposed to be in pain for this long you know we have to look you know would you rather have a happy life or would you rather walk around in that little miserable comfort zone mad at the world while you're cutting yourself off from blessings we have to really just not sit around and it, it can be a hard thing but that's something you have to be able to psych yourself out about saying okay yes there's a lot of things that have been taken out of my life but from this situation has brought me so many blessings because you would have never knew how much strength you had until you got put to that test. You would have never knew how much faith you had to put in the universe just for you to be able to release all these things. You would have never knew about all these gifts you had put on you until you went through that trauma. So you have to be able to say, yes, I'm blessed, even though it brought up so much hell. Because when everything's said and done and you don't release everything and heal, you'll be glad you went through it. You know, I look at my stuff all the time and I say, 
you know, I tell people this situation has humbled me in so many different ways. I feel blessed because I'm helping people put an understanding to a crazy situation. That's the blessing within it all. When you can be able to let another person know, hey, you are not alone by yourself. You're not the only one dealing with this. We all banding together. Yeah, we might be all going through some crazy stuff, but at least we can sit up here and have somebody relate to the things that I had to hold on for so many years. They can understand. You know, if I tell this to a person that's not even awake, they're going to be thinking I'm Lucy Lulu trying to lock you up. So being able to heal, see the things that you truly need to see, but look at it in a positive perspective. Knowing that these had to happen because if it didn't happen, you would have never knew who your true self is. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I ain't going to say all the little outro because this thing is already over 15 minutes. So you probably won't get this until tomorrow or later on at you know, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Share. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a line and let me know. Much love, peace, and be well.